Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at the town of Dis on the Norfolk Suffolk border. From the Greater Anglia mainline, which is not really anywhere near the town center, we have joined rail replacement buses over the years but never really made it into town because of the remoteness of the station. We are going to change that. Regular viewers will be aware that we spent a weekend at Cloth Fair in London at what was the home of Sir John Betjeman, the former poet laureate. One of his poems was we believe a nod to the Prime Minister's wife, Mary Wilson, who was born in this Norfolk town in 1916. A filmmaker in his own right, and an author or pre-war shell guides, he was a frequent traveler and, dare we say, a train enthusiast, with many of his films depicting railway themes. One of those films is available on YouTube, shot in 1963, and we will put a link into the description below. Likewise, a Google search for the Dis poem by Sir John Benjamin will also link you to Dear Mary, a phrase coincidentally we used when we were looking at Norfolk convicts sent to Australia, a project from early last year. If you look at how Sir John structured and produced his films, we are pretty sure he would be appreciative and approve of how Passenger 24 is put together as there is distinct similarity in the approach to broadcast. The advantage we have is that it is immediate digital and many many times cheaper. So over the 61 years, how have things changed? Probably not much. The same bells ring out. The streets are very similar. Sure, shops have changed, banks have closed, and the corn hall is no longer a corn hall. But still, it's Dis. We are also sure that he would immediately say Dis if shown the 2024 ramblings through the town by us, in the same way that we can see the similarity of the buildings in his footage. <laughs> 